Hello everyone, and welcome to a high par build video. It is fall here in Colorado, and probably in most of the rest of the world as well. Um, so today we're going to make a high par pumpkin. Um, so it will also serve as a ball, if you like that as well. Um, but it's fall, so we're going to make a pumpkin. Um, all we need today are orange and green high pars, and I will show you how many here. You're going to need 30 orange high pars. you a pile of 30 here one green high par for the stem, and 56 orange connectors. Now you could easily make this pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern as well as Halloween gets closer here in the States. Um, just sub in some black connectors or black high pars, uh, however, whichever ones you want to use, and you can make your own faces on the pumpkin. Uh, so to start, we are going to make kind of one half of the pumpkin here, and I'll show you how to start. If you've uh, watched the rainbow video, this will be familiar to you. So you're going to grab a high par, just slide a connector here onto one of the sides. Doesn't matter which side. Um, but once you have picked a side, once again you'll notice that there's a high par logo here, no high par logo here. And the next high par is going to be the opposite. So right here I've got no high par logo. On this one I've got a high par logo, and I'm going to snap those two sides together. So no high par logo, high par logo. Um, if you're looking at the connector, you've got three open spots on the top here, one open spot on the bottom. So if you're counting, one, two, three, and then the next high par slides in there. We're just gonna kind of make a circle around here. So you've got your connector here, slide a connector on the other side. And once again, we're going no high par logo to high par logo three open connector slots. So this is the same as the rainbow. We're kind of making a little five high par configuration here, just going around in a circle. So the five, oops, the five high par configuration is interesting because it's not really how the toy is designed to work. Um, you're kind of bending the connector a little bit when you do this, um, but it, it certainly works. The connectors have enough bend in them to, to assemble like this. And it's the only way you can make a round-ish ball with high pars. So you'll see as we put this together that sometimes we'll kind of be pushing high pars out. Uh, so once you have your five high par high pars together here, we're going to take connectors, and if you flip it over so the points are all pointing up, we need a connector on each of the sides of the high bars. So just go around the circle. Okay. So we got a connector on each of the sides. And now we're going to slide high bars in between each of these connectors. So you can probably see if you're putting this together that there's not actually enough room here for a high bar to slide in, but it will push out, and it will uh, it will eventually all connect together. Um, so the connection here is the same number of open connector slots. So one, two, three open slots, and then my high bar is going to go into this fourth one, and the same sort of um, High par logo to not high par logo matching. And you kind of have to wiggle it in there and it pushes everything out. So once again, we've got high par logo, no high par logo, high par logo, no high par logo. And we can slide one in between each of the slots here. Filling up all of those open connectors. Oops. And as you can see when you're putting this together, you're kind of pushing this five high bar top part out a little bit. So these connectors here are bending just a little bit. Okay, so we've got the top of our pumpkin right here. 
and we're gonna need to make another one exactly like this. And I'm gonna cheat just like Cook and Show. I've already made one just like this, so I have two. So I have now a bottom and a top of a pumpkin. And I'm gonna make the middle, so I'll slide these off to the side. The middle is kind of a ring. So you're gonna grab your high bar, and you're gonna put a connector on each side. So this time, rather than doing like kind of corner to corner here, we've got high par logo, no high par logo. We're doing high par logo, and on the opposite side is another one. So we're doing all the way across the high bar. Uh, however, we're doing the same amount. So every connection here pretty much is three open slots, and then the high par goes in. And this one is high par logo, no high par logo. So we're kind of alternating back and forth. So we're gonna keep going around here in a ring, just alternating high par logos to no high par logos. Every connection is three open slots. As you can kind of see as you're putting it together, it, uh, this one's gonna have to bend as well for it to be big enough. Lots of bending connections on this one. So you kind of get to a place here and you're like, oh look, I'm going to connect the two. But it will not connect. If you were doing a regular not bending high bar connection, you'd be kind of out of luck right here. So we're going to pull it apart just a little bit. But this is not big enough. We've got to squeeze two more in here. Still not quite big enough. Oops. See, I went, uh, I went not high par logo to not high par logo side, and I got a weird angle. Those of you who are watching this video as uh, your first high par build video, one of the things I say a lot um, is that if you're having a trouble getting a connection to work, try flipping your high par 90 degrees, and that will usually get you what you need. Um, the high par logo can definitely help, but if you don't, don't want to look at it or it's not making sense to you, just try flipping it 90 degrees, see if that gets you the connection you want. All right, so we've got kind of our ring shape here. And there are two, four, six, eight, ten high pars in this ring, if that helps. Okay, now we take connectors, and we need to connect the top and the bottom of the pumpkin to our ring here. So we need to put a connector on the top and bottom of every high par on this ring. Um, so there are, like I said at the beginning, 30 high pars and 56 connectors, 31 high pars technically with the green one. So if you have one of our small inventory builder kits, you can make this pumpkin. Um, small inventory builder kits come with 50 high pars and 75 connectors, so there's more than enough to make a pumpkin, um, or add on to it if you want to take the ball shape and make something else with it. I might try making this ball shape into a sheep at some point, because I kind of want to make a high par sheep. We'll see how that turns out. Sometimes things uh, work in my head and then I try to put them together and they look either not like a sheep or just very silly. Okay, all right, so we got connectors on the top and bottom of this ring. I'm gonna grab my top. And the top is gonna slide in. So you kind of have this high bar pointed out and you kind of have on your ring a point here. So the high bar is going to slide into these two connectors. And if you're counting spaces, once again, you've got three open spaces and then your connection. Um, so this is the point we get a little tricky trying to get everything to slide in. You'll probably have, since your high bars are not really firmly connected because they're bending a little bit, you might have some connections pop out. You kind of just got to work it in there, and sometimes it helps to work the the high bar into the like the, just the outside of where the connector slot is, so you can get everything kind of lined up, and then start actually snapping them in. Um, whatever works for you. I'm 
There's a snap. here. See one of my connections on the ring kind of popped out there. Excellent. All right. So we got the top connected or the bottom, whichever. Now we need to put the other piece on. So the same deal. Slide your high pars in. So I thought this was the simplest way to make it, because you can just kind of make the top, make the bottom, and then make the ring. But you could make the top and just start kind of doing your three high par, three open slot connector connections from there and kind of build the ring onto the top and then build the bottom onto the ring, if that makes sense. Um, you can kind of make it from the ground up as well. Um, and that might be easier for you. I did it that way the first time when I was trying to figure out how this would all work. Um, and I found that I ended up taking it apart a lot to get connections to stay tight. But that's certainly a way to try it if you want to try it kind of a different way. As always with high powers, there are lots and lots of ways to put the same thing together. All right, coming together here. Kind of easy to lose your place here on the pumpkin. But I think I've got all of my connections together. All right, so we have a ball. It could be a soccer ball. It could be a sheep body. It could be a pig body. Um, I have some extra pieces over here. You might notice because I cheated and had a, an extra or a, the bottom already done. Um, so ignore these. These would be used to make the bottom of the pumpkin. Um, and now that you've got your pumpkin done, you need a stem. So I just slide. A green high par in here for a stem. You use a brown high par if your pumpkin has been out in the weather for a little bit. My pumpkin is fresh off the vine, so it has a green stem. Um, and you could certainly use some other colors, uh, more yellow if you want, brown. Um, really, it's up to you. But there we go. There's our high par pumpkin here for the fall. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing with and uh, building things with your high pars. If you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section. Um, please like us, subscribe for more videos, all that good stuff. Um, and if you have any ideas you want us to try and build, or if you have any awesome ideas that you've built, uh, send us an email, uh, post a comment, let us know. We'll try and build stuff. Um, and we always like to see what you guys are building. So thank you very much.